This is problem number two for section 2.3. It says use the graph below to find the delta greater than zero such that for all x, zero less than absolute value x minus c uh, less than delta implies that the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. So again, we want to find the delta such that our x values fall inside of delta, which makes our y values fall inside of epsilon. And you can see that picture here. We want to find the gap for delta such that our gap up here stays uh, inside our tolerance of epsilon. So these are epsilons here. Both of these are epsilons, talking about the gap. And these are deltas right here. I'll kind of mark that there. And so our goal is to find the gap between, well, this is C, and 4.4 and 3.6 looks to me like they're going to be the same, right? They're both 0.4 away. So just looking at the graph, this is 0.4, this is 0.4. So what's our delta value have to be? Well, our delta value is 0.4. And that's the solution. Now, if these were... For a linear, it's going to notice this is a straight line. For a linear, our delta values are going to be the same each time because it goes up at the same rate. But if it's a curved line, those delta values could be different. And if they're different, we always want to go with the smallest delta value.